So I just got this really cool set of solar Easter egg lights in the mail. Let's open them up and check it out. Everything you need is included in the box from the ground stakes to the lights, the solar panel mount. It is all right here and the colors are incredible. It's got green, blue, gold, and pink, and they really pop. So the colors are beautiful. They really stand out. They're really, really nice. It's like a gel plastic kind of feel. It looks really, really cool. I think the light is gonna look really nice in these. Eight different preset lighting modes on these, and right here at the solar panel on the back has the switch for that. It has your mode switch, plus your on-off switch, and then right here, is where the mount for the ground stake goes right onto the solar panel. Really, really easy to set these up. You pull them out of the box and whether or not you're gonna use the ground stakes to stick these in the ground or hang these is up to you, but it's really nice that you have the option to also hang these or stick them in the ground. They look amazing. It requires anywhere between four to six hours of charge time for 10 hours of nightlight. Ground stakes go on really easy. It has this little slot cut out with a hole right there. You simply put it on the wire like that, and then you slide it right up to the light and pull it down tight, and it's gonna hold the light just like that. Stake it right onto the ground. Or, like I said, you can go ahead and hang these if you wanna hang them. Of course, the solar panel comes with its own ground stake, so there's no way to get that mistaken. And it's got this nice little thumb screw right here. So once you get your solar panel where you want it, you set the angle, make sure you do set the panel at an angle and then simply tighten the thumb screw right there. And you are ready to charge and have these things going for at night with these beautiful colors. I mean, these things are just really, really nice. I love the quality of these. So the wire coating on these is nice. It's thick for this size of wire. They're made to be outside in the elements. This set comes with an IP65 weather rating. So that's what they're made for. They're made to be outside. It doesn't matter the weather, the water, the rain, the heat, the cold. These are made to take it all. Wow, these are really nice. So there's a steady on mode too. I do like that. That way, if you don't want them blinking, you can just have them on. So that is a really cool option. I'm gonna go ahead and get these outside, get them all charged up, and then check them out at night. All right, I'm getting these laid out here. And I just wanna show how simple the wire actually goes on here. You simply just slide the light right on that slotted area and the cable goes out both sides. And then you just run the cable right down on those two hooks. And you could even just take these and lay them across the ground. You don't even have to use the ground stakes. They're made to be stuck in the ground with the ground stakes or hung, or you can just lay them across the ground if you wanted to decorate a little area with these and not use the ground stakes, simply fine just laying them right on the ground. But I'm gonna use the ground stakes and get them set up here in the front yard. You get about 25 feet. And if you don't use the ground stakes, you can get a little bit more length out of these simply because you wouldn't be going back down with the cable there. So it'll give you a little more length if you need a little more length than that. But 25 feet is pretty good for this set of lights. All right, I've got them all staked into the ground, charging up, getting ready for tonight so we can check out the magic. I love how the colors are pastel colors, but they are nice and vibrant. And those colors really, really pop. They look absolutely wonderful. Just a really nice Easter decoration. Gonna let these charge and I'll be back. So we got a perfect rainy day it's been raining for the past two days and everything is out here still getting charged ready to put on the light show just so the panel's all wet everything is soaked so i am pleased to say that nothing is getting penetrated with water intrusion everything's holding up nicely I'll be back to show these at night and it's supposed to rain all night. So it's the perfect opportunity to really show these off. All the lights are on. This is the steady on and the colors look great. They're nice and bright. They look really, really good. Gonna go ahead and go through all of the settings and show all of these off, but they look really, really nice. Okay, this is the sequential setting 
This is where it just goes in a sequence and it goes through all of the settings and it just does a loop. So it'll go through all eight settings and then loop back through. And it's really cool because you'll get the steady on, you get the back and forth, and then you'll get this kind of twinkling. I really love the sequential setting. That's usually what I leave everything on. I just think it looks the best because it goes through everything. But all the settings are really nice. And there's definitely no complaints. I mean, they're really, really good looking lights. And it goes through each setting for a fairly good amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and click back through and on to the next setting. Okay, this is the twinkling slash flash setting. And they are looking really good. Of course, if you want steady on... That's always nice, but I'm a huge fan of flashing lights for any kind of decoration. That's why I really like the sequential because you get a taste of everything, but if you just want them twinkling, I mean, this is a really nice setting. Gonna continue on here. Okay, this one is really cool. This is chasing slash flash setting. So it does this flash through like this and then it starts chasing the colors and it gets faster and faster until it stays on. It's really cool. That actually might be my favorite setting right there. I really like that one. Okay, continuing on here, this is the slow fade. So it'll do every other one. And then it's gonna switch back to the opposite. Really, really cool. Everything I get from this company is just really nice, lasts and lasts. And they have something for every season, every occasion, just really great products. Going to move on to the next setting. Okay, this setting is in waves. Again, this one is its just really cool also. Just a really nice set of lights. They definitely stand out. I mean, I've got other lights here. And it is not drowning these out. Definitely good quality. Gonna move on to the next setting. Okay, this one here is the slow glow. So it's just a slower flash setting basically, but it kind of glows out and then glows back up. It's a nice subtle setting. If you don't want anything too distracting or bothering your eyes if you have issues with twinkling lights this slow fade is a great option for that all right and this setting here i do believe is the combination setting it's just a combination of all the lights going through a fast twinkle and this one looks really good too actually every setting is really nice And that's it. We're back to the steady on. And they are just absolutely perfect lights for Easter. Any kind of decorating. I mean, these things are extremely nice. As long as you have a place to get the solar panel where it can charge up the battery, it's going to look perfect. You can hang these. You can lay them right on the ground. You can stake them in the ground. They are really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the chasing feature. And that's where I'll leave it to end the video off. This one is just really cool. It's definitely my favorite. 
if you're looking for any kind of ways to kind of spice up any Easter decorations or add some lights to those Easter baskets for Easter morning, this is a great way to do it. Great quality, excellent product, very affordable, and I definitely recommend these. Appreciate everybody watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye now. <laughs>